It's 420 in the Rocky Mountains. I'm this old stonard, and I'm ready to have another fart attack. <laughs> and if you don't know what that is, that's just me having fun with art live on YouTube. And this will be the second stream today. What am I doing today? Well, the same thing I've been doing here lately. Uh, vintage cartoon characters. And um, I had someone, Mookie, Mookie's Magic Coffee contacted me. And they're going to be getting the Felix the Cat that I did yesterday. Uh, and they requested something else, too, which I think I'm going to drop in there. Hey, Hadley, how you doing? Uh, I've been trying to set my streams up to, a, to an actual schedule, uh, but it won't let me put it at 420, which is my, uh, my uh, gimmick, I guess you'd call it. I like starting at 420. Uh, oh, awesome. I hope it's got some of the stuff that uh, you've been talking about you've been doing. I've been watching your cloud and sky videos, but I've been really curious to see your art videos. And boy, I'll tell you what, I've had quite a day. Hi, Inez. I've had quite a day today. I'm just going to be exhausted. I'm going to sleep good tonight. I haven't quite been able to figure out how to upload that picture to uh, Reddit. Um, but I did post something and someone kind of discovered my channel. So that's cool. I mean, in some ways, I would freak out if too many people discovered me from there, from Jazza. But uh, I just had to try it anyway. And uh, kind of the criteria of what I'm doing with my vintage cartoons is, uh, especially if I can figure out the uh, theme song, at least enough to where I feel good about it. And uh, uh, yeah, I heard you talking about it. Hey, Warsaw Patriot, right on. Welcome to the stream. I'm doing vintage cartoons, and it's like, guess the character. You know, I've got a little reference that I'm using here. And... Uh, i just been going like gangbusters today. Um, and this particular... Hey, Jerry D., you made it right on. Uh, had, had, did you get that uh, that card yet? Hey, Stacy, right on. Um, anyway, let me, uh, let me give you my musical cue, which is kind of like my own arrangement of this. Some of the some of the ones I've had a hard time with, but last night I like woke up at 1:30 and started trying to find uh, work out some of my songs. Uh, no, I haven't seen the new one. I haven't. Uh, but you are in my feed. There's been like so much stuff that I've been doing. I mean, there's so much great content coming out right now, which is kind of nuts that I'm not. Well, I well you only have so many hours in the day. Okay. Let me get going so I can fire up the music. I'm just going to play one of Jason Jones uh, uh, today. And this one right here, this one is awesome. The, the copy I have, and the only people that even have this one are the people that pre-ordered it. Mine is number 60 out of 50. There were only 50 of these printed. Uh, and it's got like one of my fa all-time favorite songs on here that if you've been hanging around here lately, you're surely to, to have heard me uh, rave about it. Now, let me see if I can do this theme before I uh, forget it because I have to like practice a whole bunch right before the show so I like get it because these things like escape my mind pretty quick even though I kind of write down, I don't really write down the notes, I just write down the numbers. Let's see if I can do this one. Let's see if anybody can recognize it. Let me start over. I messed up, just like I was afraid I was going to. Okay, that is my musical clue, and granted, some of these are like, I mean, parts of the song I can't really do, but I messed around with that one enough to where I think I got it uh, figured out. Oh, exactly, yeah, I don't have time for uh, negative stuff. 
So uh, here are my is my trivia for this one that I figured that I got. And like I said, um, I'm taking these from TV Guide 60 Greatest Cartoons of All Time. Now this one, uh, the only only the top 10 are actually ranked. The rest of them are in alphabetical order. And the other criteria for what I'm doing right now is it has to be before 1970. Uh, and this guy's first appearance was in 1958 as a supporting character for a cartoon. Hey, Jim. Welcome to the stream. Uh, but he became more popular than the, than the star of the cartoon show and has like gone on to do a lot of stuff. He got his own show in 1961. There was a musical made of him, a, uh, an animated musical of him in 1964. And since then, there have been 10 series where he's either been in it or it's been based on him. And the latest trivia on this is that HBO Max is working on a new one that was and they started working on it in 2020. And there was one other little bit of trivia for this that uh, kind of blew me away. It was it was basically someone that like did an, an analysis because since this came out in the 60s, that it had a whole bunch of um, underlying political symbolism based on segregation. And I never even thought about that. Well, yeah, he's on the list. He's on the top 50 list. Uh, surprisingly, there are no Disney characters on this list. That really blew me away. At one point, I'm probably going to go and like do some characters from Disney movies. I was actually kind of thinking of doing maybe a series that where I'm doing the Disney princesses. I don't know. So, as anybody... If I, can, if I can play the, and actually what pump, bumps something up to the top of the list is if I can figure out enough of the theme song to play it. Let me start the music and see if anybody has figured out uh, who the character is. Now, granted, there's a lot more uh, to the theme song, but that's the part of the theme song that I was able to do. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be drawn to Thrakazoid. I watched the cartoon just to see about it. You mean the big snot monster? Because that's basically what the Thrakazoid is. Okay, hey, Finite World. Let me, uh... Has anybody figured out who I'm drawn from my, my theme? Well, you will as soon as I drop this down, because I did do... I, I am doing my, uh... That one's easy to see. He's gonna say it. Come on. I know you guys can tell who that is from my sketch. Hey, Ox. Nobody? Okay, well then I'll start drawing when I look up and I see you. Uh, there you go. I was just waiting for someone to say it so I can show you my reference. This is what I'm using for a reference. Should I make it a little bit bigger for you guys? I think I'd make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And I don't know if my uh, my tune was good enough, but I tell you what, I had a blast figuring it out. I've been trying to figure out all kinds of stuff. I wanted to do Space Ghost, but Space Ghost doesn't isn't in the list. Um, and I I didn't re I mean. I was banging on my little bell thinking that I had it, but I wasn't anywhere close to it. I mean, that one's so hard. And even the Jetsons. The Jetsons is on the list, but uh, I'm having a real hard time trying to figure out that one. Okay. Let me take a little deep breath. Yeah, Jim, I hope you have a good dinner. Here we go. I'm going to focus. Get focused on here. See if I can get a nice drawing. This nice color. And I did a. It was weird when I did. I didn't even just start doing the practice stuff today until after that uh, jazz stream that I did. Um, and it was weird. I had uh, 
the drawing was really easy to do on my little practice one. Um, I did it in pencil even, but what was weird was that I just started coloring without doing the pencil. And uh, I think I got my, my colors figured out. Well, at least those are the colors I'm going to use. There was something else very interesting about this character. Is that his, see his collar here? This collar made it to where when they were animating him, they could just leave the body still, and the only thing they had to animate was the head. And that was a trick back in the day when they just did so much, uh, well, actual drawing. They had like animation studios where you just had tons of people. He was drawing out all the cells. Sometimes super simple characters turn out to be harder because the lines are just so clean and simple. But if you if you uh, write them a whole bunch of times, um, where you just get to where you draw on those lines no matter what, because the shapes on these guys are like super simple when you get down to it. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, that uh, Brian May stuff that I was playing earlier. Oh yeah, Ranger Smith. Oh, and if you notice, I added the basket. What is Yogi Bear without a pick and nick a basket, you know? So I just added a little hand in the basket in here. And it was easy, and I wanted to put Boo Boo in there too. Most of these I've been doing lately, I just have like one character. Sorry that but, uh, your life is tough. I just, as well, I found this this you picture here to where they would they would be. fit into the uh, onto my card Do really. My best to lend a hand to guide you through this bumpy land. Can't you see the things I do? Oh, when I, I want to do these lines. A little bit of that in there. Boo Boo. Boo Boo looks like he's a little bit buzzed. And it was kind of interesting the guy's uh, analogy uh, of uh, the times because these were. These cartoons were back when there was still segregation, and uh, this guy's analysis, now who knows if it's really true or not, was that uh, Yogi Bear, I mean it kind of uh, was like an analogy of slavery, because they were trapped in the park. What does it kill you makes you strong Just find a place where you I'd never thought of it like it's that time to settle Very interesting soul. I was like, wow, Before really? We all hmm. grow old. I don't know if I, I agree with that Because, well, you know People have to sell books And controversy is one thing That really helps people uh, Hey, Amy truth remains. Right Sick on People playing games just be true and say it straight. Scrape the nonsense from your plate. I'm trying Stop to stay focused today so I don't uh, make a boo boo. <laughs> oh, I already made a boo boo. I'm always here to lend a hand. Help you try to understand. I was having some trouble getting my. Green screen right. I mean, I I don't want to. I gotta do it where I'm like transparent. Just want to be careful not to be too transparent. Get all the lines I need to do. I think so. But 
the truth would still be never check. Yeah, I don't really need to need to. Oh, the truth give him an eyebrow. But the truth is um, I'll go ahead and color in the eyes. Because I always I'll put the little white highlights. Oh, let me color in their noses too. People here you will never ahead and do that now. All I wanna do today with this little is sit a while and play. And oh and the and the black inside his mouth, I think I'll go ahead and do that too. So many catchphrases for this guy too. They're on my list. They're on my list. And those are actually ranked. Rocky and Bullwinkle are uh, number six on this list of all time. Uh, but yeah, that one, I've been trying to work out the uh, theme song for that one too. And well, I don't know if I'm gonna make it where it's recognizable at all, but I'm, I'm gonna give it a shot. And now let's hope I got my uh, work out these colors. Messed around with them a lot today. Well, not a lot, as much as I could in the little bit of time I had. That's the right one for uh, I be careful not to hit my black lines too much because it just has a tendency, the alcohol in these markers has a tendency to pick up on that black. And just a little more careful. I probably should have erased my little blue lines, but by the time I'm done with this, you hardly see the blue lines anyway. Okay, done with that mark. Wait a minute, maybe not. I always like to go over them just a little bit more. Give them like that little 3D sort of look. But that's what's so awesome about these uh, alcohol markers is just the way that you can kind of lay them. Now let's see. Find the right color for blue boot. Hey, color I'm going to do for this. Yeah, this is the color for blue boot. Smarter than your average bet. But yeah, when I was doing the trivia, supposedly HBO Max is working on a brand new uh, Yogi Bear uh, series. I mean, he's pretty much had a series going since 1958 in one form or another. Yeah, it was cool. Uh, I think the person that uh, said that they wanted this, I've been po putting my pictures on Instagram. Get a lot of likes over there, and every once in a while I'll, I'll put a little message on there too that, you know, come join in, in the live stream and 
yesterday I had someone ask if, uh, you know, they, they would have paid me money for it, but nah, I don't need money. I told them just donate, you know, if you want to donate, donate, because I try and uh, basically redistribute that back to uh, different artists and stuff. That's kind of my plan for that. Went out of the line, but that's okay. Okay, I'm done with that color. Let's see. Trying to get that color for his bow tie is kind of weird, though. So, uh,. Oh, this will do it. I thought I was going to have to mix a light blue and a purple. But it looks like this is the right color for it. And then, like I say, I'm just keep putting like little layers on it to make it kind of build it up a little bit. Go. I think I'm done with that. Now let me do Yogi. Oh, I know I want to do his dream first so that I don't accidentally go over it. I'm trying to do that. I need to put some black on it. Throw a little black over here before I forget. Let's go outside, let's run and play. Let's leave this all behind. And no oh, you can't, you won't even be able to see his eyebrow. I'll, there. And I'll just put an eyebrow blind. right here. Okay. Uh, do I have red? Oh, I didn't even pull out any red for his tongue. I think this brown will work, yeah. The brown I want to work with. And since this is kind of a dark brown, I don't think I really need to worry about it picking up on my black lines. So I can just kind of go to town. Just make sure that I don't go over the lines into the pink and stuff. Hours and my sleeping hours have just been weird. I don't know if you've ever been to my streams, have you? Not that often if you have. 
I'm glad that you dropped in. That's cool. Because I am definitely a Mountain Dew fan. That's the only soda I get. <laughs> I'm stocked up real good, too. I think I have, I have at least uh, 24 pounds. Yeah, I usually just buy, just buy those in 20. Well, diet, of course, because I'm a diabetic. And I can just smooth this out real nice by just going over it again. That's the one thing that I think I finally figured out about the uh, alcohol markers is that your first pass is going to have streaks, pretty much. I mean, you can kind of get rid of them, but the more layers that you put on, the less noticeable the streaks are. And it doesn't really matter. I mean, like I always say, the main thing to have fun with your art. Okay. I'll come back. I'll, I'll probably put some more. Uh, let me go across this way. Let me just kind of blend it in a little bit this way. Is it okay if he's really dark? My little white highlighter will make all this stuff pop out real good. Probably go over some of the black lines again. And I should probably let it dry a little bit before I uh, keep putting more and more on. There we go. Let me stop now. That. And uh, work on the background. I got my, oh, I still need to do the basket. What was I going to, how was it? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm just going to do the basket pretty much with the same color that I did Boo Boo. Something I feel. I'll use, uh, I decided on this particular one, I'll probably just use some of the uh, uh, cool grays to uh, get my good shadows going. Okay, now the background. And I think I got this background figured out to where I'm not going to spend nearly as much time on it as I have been doing. We'll see. We'll see pretty quick. Ah. Uh, I, this, the streaks will look pretty good as long as I got them all going in the same direction. In my sketch, I actually just did lines rather than uh, making it solid. Which looks really good. I mean, the drawing did, I mean, I did, I did that one just kind of weird the way I did it. But it was just a uh, like a little study to figure out what colors, and I'm glad I did it because I had it. You know, figuring out that color right there was the hardest part of the color. To try and get them right so that uh, it looked as good as it does. And this is my favorite song, "Daydream." Right now, this is my all-time favorite song of every artist ever, ever. I just, I just love it. Trying my best to stay in the lines. Oh, 
On the other side, I won't. I can don't have to be as careful, because with Yogi being so dark, I just have to be careful around his hat and um, his collar. Let's be honest here. No, I'm not to blame. Life just gets in the way. Hey, mixing metaphors. Yeah, I'll be all right. No, I don't got much to say. Anyway, yeah, my life's insane. As I'm sure is yours. Let's tip our glass as it all burns to the ground. I don't know if I'll figure out the uh, Reddit, and I don't know if I'll actually get that picture into his contest, but uh, it was fun doing it. And I wanted to introduce you guys to him. Anybody that watches me should go check out some of Jazz and stuff, because that's one of his, his big pushes, is having fun with art. And his stuff goes way back, too. He's got some great tutorials on animation and stuff. tell you what, working on that marker paper was kind of cool. Everything just slides around on it like, like crazy. Bill's been doing some uh, great streams in the morning. I've been I've been getting in. And Stacy did one last night. I was crashed out though. I was half awake when I went to Stacy, and I got in bed. I tell you what, man, my eyes are like rolling around in my head. But and I, I woke up at 1:30. I don't know. I think I maybe stayed up. I didn't sleep very good last night. Kind of tossed and turned, and then this morning I kind of woke up with a dry cough and got a little bit nervous. But man, I haven't had contact with people in forever. It's going to be almost 30 days, so you got to be careful not to let your uh, your mind. Blood sugar. Yeah, my blood sugar has been running kind of crazy high for some reason. Okay, is that... Uh, okay. Uh, okay, just about done. Just about done. Just a little bit over 30 minutes. Um, my gray. I wanted to get some gray. Is this a, I have a super light gray and then a darker gray. I think I'll use this super light gray on his collar. Why do you not see me? I won't believe and this dark gray. It's not that I can't reach that far, and it's not that I don't care. I've done my very best so far, and I laid it all at your feet. Roll back, let history repeat. What do you want from me? Well, you know, 
the thing about this gray is that you just put it right over the top of any color and it creates a nice uh, little shadow. Thanks for the shadow. My soul is empty. Please help me understand. Pick a nick of bad your promise. Slipping through like grains of sand. Everything inside me. Now let me get my little highlighter. Just use the gel pen for the highlights and keep them very, very minimal. I always like that. Putting a highlight on the eyes. And the nose is just always a, a win. I'm telling you that my uh, gel pen is uh, running out of cheers. A little bit on his hat. Try and keep it very minimal because it doesn't take much. A little bit on boo boo. And I, I'm, I'm like, what I'm doing is wrong. I like seem to put my highlights right next to the shadow too. Hey, Aaron. Um, so there we go. I think I'm done. Does it look like I'm done? I think I'm done. Even though I'm still like poking around at it. Um, there you go. Uh, oh, I know. A little bit more. Just a little bit of a little line over here. Try and more define that uh, horizon. And then just kind of a little shadow on there. I know some of the lines could probably use darkening that. But, I've pled well, I hit my imaginary time, time limit. Times my soul and it's time for me to uh, put my I'm little... Uh, my signature on here. It's all falling on deaf ears. Call it a string. At least that's what I feel. Get my little uh, background here so I can get a, uh, a nice little uh, thumbnail. Get that for my thumbnail. Look at the camera. Smarter than the average bear. And then uh, my final little thing that I like to do in my show. Turn the music off. And uh, everybody's got to have their little catchphrase. And this is my catchphrase. Fart jams for life. Fart club forever. And the only thing you gotta do to be in fart club is have fun with your art. Oh yeah, yeah. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Be good to one another. Stay safe.